the time, there wasn't a whole lot of meetings. Um, EPA just kind of started coming on the on scene. Um, and for our community, kind of being out in the country a little bit, um, nobody really wanted to talk to EPA. They all kind of said, once you let them on your property, um, they don't go away. You know, people kept saying it was whatever EPA was doing was hurting the values of their homes and so it it took a lot of agreeing with people on that and kind of talking them through it to really get people to be aware of the concern that was here um so that you know that took a lot of time and <laughs> effort for it yeah and so then it seems like how you're saying that you because of your experience living in rural like Arizona you know kind of how to talk to people and yeah yeah you know I think um just knowing what the concerns are you know for your community and understanding how all the politics work in your area um but it wasn't I went to a lot of the town council meetings EPA meetings um and a lot of that I would have meetings here at the house and then would share that information with other people that didn't want to go to the meetings. Um, so there really hasn't been a whole lot of community activity. You know, I think most of the community is looking for for one person to kind of stand up and be the voice of the entire community. 